Another kit we have um, is a fire kit, and since this is a fireside chat, I thought it might be fun to do a little bit of work with the fire kit. It comes the same way, with its own coin cell, holder, and switch. And the reason the fire comes with its own coin cell is because the fire and the room lights can't really um, behave well together. Sometimes with the three volt coin cell, you'll see that the fire is starting to make the room lights flicker. And sometimes, too, it's nice to have the fire on its own control, because sometimes maybe you want to have a fire and no room lights, or sometimes you want to have the room lights on but not the fire. This gives you the control because you have a separate switch just for the fire. You can turn your fire on and off whenever you like. This kit also comes with a little bit of cellophane, and the point of the cellophane is you can crumple it up and put it over the lights. And that will give your lights a nice diffraction so that they kind of you know, go different ways. Okay, now this kit you'll see has three lights in it. There's a solid orange, a flashing orange, and a flashing red. And the three together is, when you put them tightly together, is what gives you the nice effect. So this kit, um, the same basic idea, you have red wires and black wires. You would thread these in through your fireplace and out of your building. And then you would go ahead, put on your shrink tube. twist really, really firmly. Don't worry. If you break anything, it's a free replacement, so don't be worried about twisting too firmly. Okay, and what you're doing there is making sure you have a solid connection between all of these lights and your power supply. Same thing with the blacks. Some nice, firm twisting. Okay, now put your shrink tube on. And the point of shrink tube is it protects the connection so that you can't have the red and black stripped areas touch each other. If they were to touch each other, it would just cause a short circuit and your battery would just get a little hot. If you fix the problem, it would just restore everything. You wouldn't do any permanent damage. Okay, so you can see I've got my connections here. Now I'm going to put in my coin cell, checking to see the positive on the coin cell and the positive on the holder. Okay, and go ahead and turn the, the on switch. Now you can see we have a little fire going on here. It's a very safe fire. It's not, <laughs> it's not hot. Okay, and you can see what the fire looks like with a little bit of cellophane over it. The other thing people like to use instead of cellophane is um, silicone. You know, the, the clear silicone, it's sold as goop or it's sold as aquarium sealer. Um, comes in a little like a toothpaste tube. But you can see we have a nice little bit of flickering going on. The other question I get is, um, how do I make this fire, you know, look like it has logs and things? 